How to know when the right time to change carriers. When's the best time to jump ship? This is something we're going through right now and we wanted to share it with you guys, but kind of let you know, we, we don't make this decision lightly. It's not something uh, as a business owner that you make rashly without thinking it over and researching where you want to go. For us personally, this change has been in our minds for quite some time now. We've done a lot of research on the carrier that we wanted to change over to. And like Jason said, it's not something that it was just done on a whim. We've been researching them for a good two years. Yeah. You yeah. know, anytime we see any of their drivers at the truck stops, we try to talk to them. Um, anytime we see other drivers with uh, this company, you know, we, we, we just get over there and talk to them. We make the effort to go try and talk to them. All different kind of drivers, solos, mm -hmm. teams, tractor uh, trailers, tractor straight, trailers truck. straight trucks, cargo vans. If, mm -hmm. if, if they had this company's logo on it, we went and tried to talk to them. Yeah. Some of the reason is behind why, why we feel it's the right time for us to change carriers is we've noticed a lot of changes over really the past year with the carrier that we've been with and it's just become not the perfect fit for us anymore for us, right now that doesn't mean that that our previous carrier isn't a good fit for for you or other people that are there and it worked for us for a long time we were there for over four years that four years really gave us a sense of things we didn't like about the carrier right the, and what the warts and you guys have heard us talk about this mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. the warts that a carrier has the place we're going now we're not expecting it to be a bed of roses you know it's not mm -hmm. going to be peaches and cream over there you know right. it are, there's things over there that we like better than Panther right now. That's what we're basing this decision off of. Mm -hmm. It's it's not because we hate Panther. It's not because we no we, no we have no ill will. There nothing no specific thing happened at Panther that's making us leave. It's accumulation of things. Accumulation over time, and one last thing set it over the edge just kind of pushed us to do it quicker than we were going to anyway. We were inevitably going to do this. We already had planned on it. We had planned on it towards the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, something pushed us to yeah. do it now. What the point of this video is, is knowing when... When to make a move. You when know, it's, is it the right It's a time? tough yeah. decision to yeah. make. It, yeah. It's a costly decision it, to make. That's, yes. You know, um, we've been off, what, almost three... We were off a week. Mm -hmm. We did one run. Mm -hmm. And then we came back home and we've been off about two weeks now. We're on our, th next week will be our third week. Right. Yeah, yeah. The, now, the carrier we're going with is a quite lengthy, extensive process to be able to get on with them. Mm -hmm. So that's, that means that we're not making money during that time while we're trying to get on with this new carrier. Right. That's something you have to factor into when Absolutely. making a decision mm -hmm. to switch carriers. Do you have enough money to pay the bills and cover everything until you get rolling again. Right, because basically um, you're starting over. We're starting over. Even though we've been doing this for four years, we're essentially starting over. This is going to be a new learning curve for us. But you we're know? excited. It's a you, new adventure. You have to be prepared for that new learning yeah, curve. Yeah, but it's um, exciting too. It's scary and exciting, really. It is. But like Jason said, you know, you have to have money in reserve. When considering moving to a, a different company, um, one thing, that if you're, if it's, if you're leave, want to leave because you're not getting the runs you think you should be getting, you should really think about the time of year that you're. You're not getting those runs what's going on in the economy you know it, it may not just be your carrier it may be all carriers this is not a reason why we're leaving panther for sure because they they kept us fairly busy you know they got us the runs you know um for for a year's time it all balanced out so that is not a reason that we would be uh, we're leaving panther but it, it's something to look at you know i know there's been times where we've We've sat a week out somewhere waiting for a load, and we it was, you know, we were like, well, what's going on? Why aren't we <laughs> getting a load? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? What yeah. is going on? Well, why aren't we getting a load? Um, do we need to leave now? Is it time for us to leave? You know, and, and it goes through your head, but mm -hmm. then we have to sit back and think, you know, yeah. 
hey, it, well, it's January, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. this is probably why we had to sit a week, mm -hmm. you know, um, that's the name of the game. So, Another thing now, I want to add to that, just real quickly, is if you're taking runs into not so great freight areas, slower freight areas, you're going to be sitting, so that's something to keep in mind. Are you taking loads into areas that aren't good areas to get out of? That's not necessarily the carrier's fault. It's not your fault if you're, you're new, but yeah, yeah. it's definitely something to consider, you know. Yeah. Don't make that a rational decision. Yep. Yeah, don't, you don't want to be a carrier jumper, you know, mm -hmm. um, looking for greener pastures, as they've always said. What's greener for one person may not gr be greener for us. Right. You know, so you really have to look at every aspect of a place before considering making a move. The biggest reason why we're leaving our carrier and making a switch is plain and simple. The dispatchers really have made it stressful for us. And this has been the entire four years. It's always been, you know, pulling teeth and trying to get help or, you know, trying to negotiate. And um, it, it, it's become more headache than it's really been enjoyable for us and we may have some of the same problems at the next place we may not we don't know mm -hmm. we just feel it's time for us to to try something different mm -hmm. um it, this is not a decision we've taken lightly at all we may get over to the new place and hate it and we'll come back want to come back we to, may come back, to yeah. our, our to panther you know yeah. you never know the grass like they say the grass isn't always greener what works for one may not work for us right. you know um that's you it's all what the individual puts into it it's all what the individual can tolerate. Just like with everything we always say is do the research, do your research. We've been researching it for a while. We've researched, we've heard good and bad about where we're going. Mostly it's good, but there are bad things too. And you know, like Jason said, it's what you're willing to deal with and what you're willing to put up with to better yourself, I guess. And, and we're not saying you have to put two years of uh, research into it. You know, that's... No. We, no. We've kind of leisurely researched yeah, it by talking with drivers. Um, I would not make a decision based off talking to one or two drivers. Mm -mm. You know, because we all know how drivers can be sometimes out here. We always like to toot our horns and oh yeah we're doing great we made five thousand dollars last week and you hear five thousand dollars last week you think that's every week and yeah. little did he little did he mention that he sat two weeks prior to that and only made 300 bucks maybe so take your time in your research um mm -hmm. don't make these decisions lightly no. you know they don't feel stuck at a certain carrier either if it's not working out for you you are not stuck at one carrier. Look at your contract, make sure you're the stipulations of that um, before leaving or making a, a, a decision. Make sure you fulfill your contract. Fulfill Absolutely. your contract. Also, don't just jump ship quickly. Um, weigh your options. Yeah, weigh your options. Be prepared for not having any money. This, this is one thing that I try to tell everybody I ever meet is save money. Put money aside. Even if you only made $300, take $25 of that and put that into a savings. $10, $5, whatever. Always put something back in mm -hmm. a cushion so you are prepared to make a move if something happens you, you're not you don't feel stuck you know you don't right. want to yes. feel stuck in right. a place yeah. i know a couple drivers right now who are kind of in a stuck position you know they don't have a big savings and business has been kind of slow and they want to make a move right now but they can't you know that you have to be prepared to be able to make a move when you want to and not feel stuck i i, I strongly that that is Probably the best advice I could ever give somebody is no matter how much you make, put a little bit aside yeah, absolutely. to prepare yourself for that time, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And not only just to for those times, but for the times when it is slow, because the times are slow out here at, at sometimes. It's not always 
a consistent um, paycheck, and we've yep. said that before. To answer the final question that I'm sure most of you are asking, <laughs> uh, we have an application in with Landstar. Mm -hmm. You've heard us talk about them before. Yeah. You know, it's most, uh, probably most of you aren't surprised at that. Yeah, we did our year drug test yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Um, we've signed some contracts with them. We're waiting for the processor to get things going. Mm -hmm. We removed all the logos and Qualcomm and everything off, off of our truck. We told Panther farewell. Best of luck to you guys. We, we left on good terms. We left with on them. good terms. You know they've offered if we ever want to come back, the door is open. Yep. So so you know there's no ill will either way, with us or them. It's just that time for us. It's the time for us to make we, the move. And we think Landstar is better suited for owner operators. And for our qualifications. For our qualifications yeah. as owner operators, um, we just have a little bit more freedom. Mm -hmm. So, and we're, we'll probably do a video really going into detail. We'll do the goods and the, the bads. Goods we'll, and we'll the goods and the bads. We'll do a video yep. over our four yep. year journey with, our with four them year and share. experience. Yeah. So you guys know what you're getting yourself into, what to be prepared for. Maybe it will help better prepare you guys for that move to Panther. Yeah. So. Yeah, and obviously, you know, we'll do videos on our new journey, and yep. hopefully y'all will stick around for that, and we're excited about it. We're really excited. The veterans have become the grasshoppers again. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> we're on a new adventure again, yeah. and a new learning uh, That's experience. Right. So. That's right. It's going to be a lot of new a lot of new things and a lot and of we're learning. And not, we're not going over there blindly. There's a lot of no. people over there that have offered to share and help and yes yeah, so we appreciate immensely immensely the help that yeah that we have been given thus far i don't think we'd make the jump if there weren't those <laughs> folks over yeah. there that were willing yeah. to help yeah. us and, and they know who they are yeah. so we yeah. really appreciate it we appreciate all of you for the su watching supporting the support. us yeah. following yeah. our journey and we hope you're as excited as we are for the new journey and adventures so. and we hope you guys find a carrier <laughs> that makes you happy yeah not one one set carrier is for one set person. No, no. And we don't want... Everybody finds their happiness somewhere, though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And we don't want anyone who has gone over to Panther because of our videos or who are in the process of going there to feel like, oh, my goodness, am I making the right decision? Right. Panther is an, a great company. It's not a bad company. Just because we're leaving does not mean that you won't succeed there. We've succeeded there for four years. And so. there's plenty of good drivers over there that are willing to help too. Look for the we're Panther the Panther Facebook pages. Yes. There's some really good yes. folks on there that will help you answer questions. They'll share experiences mm -hmm. with Panther. Yeah. Share procedures, how to get something resolved, anything like that. So it's Panther Premium Drivers yeah. Yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. It's a closed group for Panther drivers only, so you have, do have to be a driver already there, but um, it's a really great resource. Yeah. Uh, there was one uh, Panther group that we joined when we first started, and they were a great help mm -hmm, to us. Mm -hmm. So We're always here to help. We're not biased from one carrier to the other. It doesn't matter to us whether you, whatever you drive, whatever carrier you are, if you're not even in expediting and just have questions, we are always here to help and answer your questions. So always feel free to contact us our contact information is always down in the description and email facebook yeah whatever questions you got absolutely hit us up so thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting